Hey, Switch Max here. Today we're going to go over some steps to replicate videos like these. Sit back, relax, and take notes, there's a lot to cover. First, we need our original footage of the recording we want to use. I'll go over that tag in the middle of the phone in the next step. Next, in Blender, we're going to need to convert the video into an image sequence for April Tools. Set your render engine to EV. Change view transform to standard under color management. Set your FPS to 30, then select a folder to save your image sequence. And change the file format to JPEG and set quality to 100%. Then we need to delete the rendered layers node, and bring in a movie clip node. Next select your video from the drop down menu and render. Open the command prompt and change the directory to where April Tools is extracted. Then get the directory where your image sequence is, and if April Tools call it in CMD. Then we enter our camera's focal length and sensor width. If you don't know it, you can either download the phone tester app and get the information from there, or have April Tools estimate the focal length. Then let April Tools track the footage. It will give us a text file with our tracking data that we will then import to Blender. Now that our footage is perfectly tracked, we can bring in our models to place in the scene. The models I have are Scorpion and Sub-Zero from Mortal Kombat. I duplicated the keyframes to give it some length. Then we have to make a small makeshift model of the phone to act as a shadow catcher when we render the final animation. Then we will set up the materials and render everything out. After everything is rendered out from Blender, we can start composing things in After Effects. In After Effects, the first thing we need to do is track the footage in Mocha for the screen replacement. I will leave a link in the description for a more in-depth tutorial on how this is done. After the screen replacement was done, then I created the depth illusion for the screen using solids, masks, and the 3D camera tracker. Then I added the GIFs shown in the clip at random intervals, applied random effects, like data glitch, retro dither, and invert. After the depth illusion is finished, I moved on to adding 3D elements on the outside of the phone using the original 3D tracker. Once all the 3D elements were applied, I pre-composed them and brought them onto the main composition where I applied glow, curves, and deep glow to give it a bit more light. Once the post effects were done on the 3D elements, I moved on to the 3D renders of the characters fighting. I have them both overlaid on top of each other and applied a layer blinking effect. This can be done by keyframing the opacity at 100% to 0% and duplicated the keyframes for the effect. Then it was a matter of properly timing them to have a sort of glitching effect. After all this, the last thing to do was render our beautiful clip. It does take some time to get these effects down packed, but the payoff is worth it. I hope you enjoyed this showcase. Give it a like and subscribe for the next one.